what's happening. All right, just finished a little warm up. Actually, it was pretty long. Um, the older you get, the more you should warm up. You don't want to pull anything. Um, but this is the hill, beautiful hill. Um, on camera, it doesn't look that steep, um, but it's pretty steep. Uh, more, more long, I don't know, maybe 25 yards, 30 yards which you don't want to do too much when you're training for football because the thing is you're not really running that far distance and the plays are only about six seconds long. So I'm going to really focus on speed, power, and uh, yeah, get to it. I like to try different stances. <sighs> right foot up. Made it, baby. All right. Work that ACL going down, hamstring stability. Nasal breathe. You really want to train breathing through the nose, into the nose. You get more oxygen. Trying to work on that higher elevation in Utah. Get tired quicker. That's one. Left foot stands. Here we go, baby. I gotta get in shape. This is just the right thing. That water's good. Whew. All right, three point stance now. Left hand down. Let that get off and incline. There we go. It's three. Go backwards. You know, I'm very privileged to be in the position that I am, to be in the NFL, to have this body, to be able to do all I'm doing. Um, I don't deserve it. It's God who gave me it, gave it to me. I was always, I always been the underdog. You know, scout team throughout high school. Then didn't start on varsity until my senior year. Walked on in college. Always been the underdog. Um, but the Lord 
established discipline in me. And any one of y'all can do it. I started seeking the Lord first. The scripture that he showed me when I started seeking him was Hebrews 12, 11. No discipline, no discipline may seem pleasant at the time. So the ice cream cone not being disciplined, going to eat it, the opposite of discipline is going to eat the ice cream when you're trying to stay away from it. It doesn't seem pleasant. Like it may seem pleasant, right? It may seem pleasant. Mmm, yummy ice cream. But it says, but painful. You not saying discipline, you're going to have the results, whether it be bad, but if you stay disciplined, the results will be good. So no matter what you do, you're going to have results. Discipline re- yields good results, but it's hard. Not being disciplined yields bad results, but it's easy. You have to choose the hard to later reap the results of the good. For example, being disciplined around these hill sprints <sighs> might suck right now. But the results I'm going to have during camp, I'm going to be in shape and it's going, it's going to be good because I'm not going to be suffering then in camp. But if I don't do it, I'm going to be suffering whenever I'm in camp. So you have to choose your suck. But it says, later on, however, being disciplined produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. You, if you remain disciplined, you'll have that peace. You'll have that right standing. Discipline is key. And that is what the Lord instilled into me to prepare me to be where I am today. All glory to him. Choose discipline. Or not. But you can do it. Believe in yourself. All right. Three point stance. Right hand down. Grass is thick and kind of wet, so slippery. It dries up. It dries when you get up there for all the people running on it, so it's not slippery there. Just the beginning part. It's four. Thinking about doing 15. Easing my way into it. I'm gonna do around 30. But first day doing this. <laughs> Different elevation. My lungs can feel it, the sharpness of the air. Um, I like to change the way I do my, my get offs. Um, like I did stand up left, stand up right, three point left, three point right. And you just mix it up, you know. Sometimes, for this one, sometimes I like to go backwards for a little bit, and then like kind of like the ball snapped, turn run, other way. And throughout this rest of this video, I'm gonna be mixing up the different variations you can run a hill sprint. You don't just wanna do the normal run straight up. Gotta work all the different muscle groups, you know, there's multiple different variations. You do plyos, single leg stuff. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. All right. Embrace the suck. Beautiful up here. That's why I'm gonna go backwards.
little chipotle fork <laughs> in the world. Trash. One thing that bothers me, people leaving trash, not respecting the earth. God's earth, man. Respect it. God reminds me of, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, being a man of integrity. It's easy when people are watching, especially people you're trying to impress, to do the right thing, right? But I'm telling you, if you can be a man of integrity, learning how to do the right thing when no one else is watching is going to set you far above the rest because those little things add up and they're going to pay off. So I encourage you, just like the little piece of trash, no one's going to watch it except the video, but I would have picked up that trash either way. Encourage you. Sorry, beautiful hawk. Beautiful hawk. Or eagle, I don't know. Might be eagle. Be a man of integrity. It's going to pay off, especially women love that. My wife, she loves my integrity. Integrity is attractive to women. Have integrity. Do the right thing always. Tame your tongue. All right, get off my soapbox. Backpedal other way. Head on a swivel. Head on a swivel. Stop! Oh yeah, I can feel it. The burn. The way down, you can feel the gravity pushing yourself, right? And that gravity is working that stopping force, right? When you're running, and you come to a break, breaking halt to change direction, or to slow down, is a stopping force, that's the hamstring. Working that hamstring really is good for ACL protection from injury. Nothing can fully stop injury. I had a lot of multiple injuries. Sorry, sad part about the sport, but I believe I'm a firm believer that God works all things for the good. You know, every injury I had, some way he's brought good in it. Whether it be transitioning me to a different location or teaching me a very valuable lesson, helping me mature, or even exposing another injury that I need to get right or Exposing a weakness, I gotta work on and getting stronger from it and protects me from even bigger injury. Injuries, they suck, but I encourage you to always look at the positive in everything because I'm a firm believer in Romans 8:28. God works all things for the good for those who love Him and call according to His purpose. So love God and know He's gonna work all things for the good. Whether you may not see it at the time when you're going through it, but that's where you have that, have that level of surrender, positivity, and trust. Because scripture I was reading earlier today says, God's ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts higher than our thoughts. He loves us so much and we may not be, be able to ever see the way or the thing he's thinking through. But it's always for the good because he sees it in an eternal perspective. I just want to encourage you with that. All right, this time I'm going to go lateral. Like a basketball shuffle. I'm gonna get halfway, probably turn to sprint. All right, that's it. Don't, don't click your heels. Oh yeah, that was good. What am I on, seven? Yeah, seven. So I'm gonna go a little faster. 
work that stopping speed. Get some mad momentum. Stop. Good work. Man. I didn't give myself time to recover. I really gotta work on that nasal breathing. Not doing a good job. Strategy. We used to do in college. I was sweating on this mic. Was that I've seen. Shout out to Kurt Hester. Put a duct tape on your mouth. It forces you to do the nasal breathing. Your nose, don't quote me, I believe can absorb either 30%, I think it's 30% more oxygen than through your mouth. But it needs to be trained because as you train it, don't quote me, they dilate more, they get, it becomes more of a habit. Especially if you're playing football, you have a mouthpiece, you're biting down, you can't really breathe through your mouth very well. You know, if you do, putting yourself at risk because you're not biting down. So I encourage to really work on it. It's hard to do high intensity stuff like this, but low intensity stuff is easier, but I'm just gonna do my best. All right, going back. Other way, other way, other way, other way, yeah. I see you. Keep it up. Shuffle down the hill. Work that LCL and medial meniscus. That's eight, I believe. I want you to know. God cares about you. Here's children. And he wants to know you. He wants to know you. So I encourage you. Seek him, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit. Seek him. Truly seek him. And I promise you. You'll find him. That's what, his, that's what the word of God says. And the word of God is not a lie. A lot of people try to take bits and pieces of it and try to say it contradicts itself. The word it doesn't. You can't take part of the story and compare it to another part. You have to read the whole story. And if you read the whole story and understand the whole story, it doesn't. It's the most credible book, most truthful book there is ever. Words breathe from God, and I firmly believe that. All right, got off my quote, my, oh, ah, got off my box, what do they call it? Soap box, whatever, I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna do a, or probably should do this now, it's harder. A single leg bound up the hill, or left leg first. Get halfway through, probably break out into a sprint. Alrighty. We gotta engage that core and that glute. Alright.
That's gold right there. That's gold. Go down laterally. I didn't do this last time. You don't want to hunch over. Even though I was just doing that, being hypocrite, it makes it harder to breathe. It builds up the lactic acid in your muscles, makes it harder to run. And the best thing to do is when you really gas, just walk around, hands on the hips, breathe through your nose, out through the mouth. You can even do this. Coaches just don't like that. I don't even really like when you put your hands on your hips, so. <sighs> Shows weakness, you know? They're on the ball to you next time. So the best, best thing to do is just hands to your side, hands here, hands here, hands here. <sighs> See your chest open. <sighs> through your nose. <sighs> Analyze the play. Stay composed. Get the call. As much breast as you can. Hopefully you can get rotated in soon, but may not. Don't go like this. They're gonna catch you off guard. They're gonna get you. All right. The left leg, now right leg. Oh man. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Good. The second rep's always harder. So I encourage you to strat. Your dominant leg last. Your less dominant leg first. So the less dominant leg, you have more intent because you have more energy put into it. Second like one, you're more gassed. It's hard to put as much intent, but it's all your dominant legs. You're good. I think 10 is good. This hill, it's pretty intense. My goal is to work up to 30. We're going to be hitting this hill three times a week and uh, be doing agility two times a week and football drills two times a week. So about to head to the gym, follow me there. Get a little full body circuit. Try to get cardio through that too. All right, y'all God bless, see you there. All right, we made it to the gym. Um, I don't know, it's about 24 minute drive. So I'm still kind of warm after running on the sprints, but uh, we're gonna start out with squat. Great lift. Starting out with uh, 45 as a warm up. Just gonna work our way up. Oh. Snap. This one you need to put the clips on. Some gyms and bars are not very slippery, so you don't really need the clips, but this one by far needs the clips. It is sliding like crazy. All right, let's try this again. I like to do about finger on the uh, little groove here. All right, here we go. So controlled. Explode up. That was 
10 reps. All right. Now I'm gonna hit, just add another 45 on. All right. Now, I'm still in the war work warm-up set. Um, we're at 225, and we're gonna hit this for five. bar kind of hit this little guardrail. It's because I, I like to squat really low. <sighs> Past 90. So I might need to adjust that down one. All right, now we're gonna hit, start our first working set. And I'm gonna hit um, 315, so three plates, 345 plates on each side for 10. All right. Man, that was intense. Feel the hunger pains from, from, the, from the cut. All right, let's do the next All set. All right, do a little frontal angle. This is uh, 335, put a little 10 on each side. Hitting this for eight. I like to jump into it. Here we go. All right, let's up the weight up. Yep, let's up it up, let's up it up. Now we got 365, put a 25 on each side. Took off the 10 for six reps. Let's get it. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, I stopped at uh, 365 for six. Normally I do like 400 and I get 465 and the 500. 
for a couple reps, but that's in the past. This is my second year in the league, and I've learned it's about longevity. You're never gonna have to lift more than like 330, 340. That's 365. Um, so that's, you know, plenty. You gotta take care of the joints. You don't wanna go too, too heavy. So I'm gonna move on the bench. I'm um, gonna go up there, but yeah, let's get to it. Right. One of my favorite lifts, bench. Um, I love this. Starting out with the 45 and warm up, hit it for 10. All right, let's grind it out, let's grind it out. Get set up, pull myself forward, get your uh, ankles under, make a little arch. Wide, thumbs on the grip, send it out. Lock the back, here we go. Again, all right, popping right into 225. I like to jump it pretty quick. Don't recommend if you're not used to bench, but I like to jump it. I'm gonna do first set of 10 for 225. Right. I gotta tell you a story after this set about my pro day. 225 bench press test. Uh, like, there we go. Quick, quick story. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Um, partly tore my something in my bicep pec shoulder region for pro day because I was just benching too much. You can't really bench that much throughout the whole training process, barely can bench. You can only get around 28 reps on 225. The day of the test, I was able to hit 33 reps. I'm telling you, that was the Lord's strength, man. Came over me, strengthened me to hit 33 reps. And guess what age they predict Jesus died at? Age 33. So, Pretty crazy. All right, next set. All right, <laughs> set three. Well, this is my second working set. And uh, I'm gonna do 50, 25, 275. 275 for eight reps. Glory to my strength, onto your glory. Ah. Glory to God, glory to God. All right, next set. All right, all right, all right. 295, four reps. Let's get it. Let's get it. Next set is gonna be 315. Wait a second. 315? Yeah, 315. All right, the grand finale, 315. Just slammed on an extra couple tens. Um, yeah, I recommend when you're going, when you're lifting, when you go in, breathe. And when you go out, breathe out. Some people get the opposite. You wanna breathe in when you're going down, keep the tension and breathe out. Or if it's really heavy, what I recommend is before you even go, take a deep breath, lock your core, and then finish. 
And that's what we're gonna do for this. All right. Get set, get a good base. Lock your hands up, set your feet. Recommend, if you're beginning at this, get a spotter. <laughs> I can do heavier, that's why I'm not worried, but. Yeah, all right, let's get it. Let's see what's next. You know what? I gotta hit another set. So I put an extra tan on, two tens on, 335, hit this for one or two. I gotta feel that burn, I gotta feel that struggle. Ah, that's good finish. All right, time to move on to the circuits. All right, all right we're gonna do a quick leg circuit and an arm circuit. So first starting with the leg circuit, start with uh, trying to really knock this out really quick. Try to work all the small muscles you gotta get. Straight leg RDL, three sets of 10. Then we're gonna do knees over toes lunges, three sets of five. And then we're gonna do a single leg hip thrust, three sets of 10. All right, let's get it. Trying to go quick, tempo, get the cardio, get the Get the heart rate up. All right, let's get it. split squat let's get it using 60s straight really get that exaggerated lunge one Works that calf in that lunge. Three. Four. One more. Five. Really bulletproofing them knees. All right. Moving to here. Single leg, glute bridge. This thing builds that power and that glute. Really good for sprinting. Using 100. Go ahead, put it on my legs. Get down to my shoulders. Put my back there. Get on one leg. Up, thrust up. One. Do 15. Other leg. one set. <sighs> All right, three sets, quick water break. Jumping right into it. Straight leg RDLs. Straight leg RDLs. So I'm gonna face this way. Get a different angle for you. Keep everything tight, core. Back, straight, hinge over. Go down slow, explode up.
That's 10. Knees over toes, squat. Oh man. I need this. Cardio. Face this way. Here we go, we got three sets of five. this out. When you don't want to keep going, you got to take a deep breath. Find something in you that wants to keep going. You just got to keep, just got to keep going. But that mental toughness. All three. A leg of the leg. Keep it real. Two sets of that is plenty. Just because the amount of volume I already put on my legs today with the sprints. Doing any more would probably be kind of productive since we're running tomorrow. So I like to set a high goal. But you always got to listen to your body. When your muscles start hurting, joints start hurting, you got to listen. It's very important to listen to your body. It's okay to cancel some sets if your body's like, no. Very important how you protect yourself from injury. I used to not do that, learned my lesson. All right, we're gonna move on to the, the upper body circuit. Let's get it. All right, we're hitting a upper body circuit real quick. Um, front lateral raises, three sets of 10. External rotation, three sets of 10, and then back pulls, incline, bench, back pulls, three sets of 10. We're gonna start with incline, back pulls first. Do an 80s, grab it, get on the bench, lay down, and you're just gonna pull for your back and squeeze at the top. One, two. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Should be able to stick a pencil in. Six. Moving on to front and lateral raises. Not too heavy, I'm doing 20, but I recommend like five or a 10. <sighs> 10 each. And then front. And then next we have, got to bring the bench down. Using the 25, this is external rotation. Works the shoulders. This one's kind of awkward. Kind of have to sit like this. One knee up. And you're going to plant your elbow on. 
Go down slow, and then up, fast. One, two, three. Really bulletproof in that shoulder. Other way. One, two, three. All right. Time to hit the next set. Doing short breaks and really trying to get that cardio. Heart rate elevated. I'm gonna continue to pause. Front lateral raise. Alternating. For the first five. And then burn out. Five. I'm just gonna do two sets for this. Because I'm about to hit the punching bag. Work on the shoulders and just get out that aggression. Work on the abs. And sauna, call it a day. Deuces, y'all. Forgot the last set of external rotation. About to knock that out. Not gonna skip that. All right. Gonna hit this punching bag. Just try to work all the muscles. Shoulders, biceps, tries, abs, hips. Just good to work it, you know? Oh, gonna keep hitting this bad boy, but I'll see y'all later. Remember, you're blessed and you're chosen. Quick, quick prayer, quick prayer. Bless this person that's watching this. Help them to know you. Be filled with your presence, Lord, and be blessed. In Jesus' name, see you next time. God bless y'all. Peace.